we take what we're really good at, like a Mustang, and we do the unthinkable and take on the Europeans, punch for punch, at what they've been doing for decades as an underdog. Ford's really gonna make a road-going version of that GT3 race car. It takes it to the best supercars in the world. How far can we push what's under the skin of this car? This is a track monster. It'll make their jaws drop. All of that technology focused to go like hell. We were working with Ford Performance on a GT3 version of the new Generation 7 Mustang. We got 15% into that project. Jim Farley took a look at it. He goes, we need a road version of that. The vision for this is totally different than any high-performance Mustangs we had. All the latest racing technology from our race car, but actually on the street. We've never left anything on the track. We've applied it to the street vehicle to develop what we think is the ultimate Mustang. And now I get to see a talented small challenger team bring it to life. The studio kind of worked like a Skunkworks office. We're off the grid. We looked for the best of the best. And if you look at the engineers at Ford and at Multimatic, they are elite, top notch, best in the world. We've engineered this vehicle 100% from the inside out. It's really foam photos function. It's got the power. It's got light weighting. It's got big brakes. It's got big aerodynamics. This car performs. We did some radical things. It's got inboard suspension, like a lot of prototype race cars. You press a button, and in 10 seconds, you got a completely different characteristic on the car. We've practically replaced everything on the vehicle with carbon fiber to allow for light weighting. You know, it's got active aero, but we got some trick controls behind it. We have a titanium exhaust, the carbon ceramic brakes. The vehicle also features magnesium wheels that are quite lightweight, but are very durable for track applications. We put a transaxle in the back. A transaxle is what race cars have. Because we moved the gearbox to the rear end, and the weight balance of the car is, is a great 50-50. Was that an easy thing to do in a car that was never designed to have a train? <laughs> It was a smoking heart problem to solve. It's not a cosmetic package. Every component, every system was thought through, engineered. And you put all those building blocks together, you come out with a car that you know is gonna be competitive in that space. It's not just strong in one area, it's an all-around athlete. I mean, this product is a technological tour de force. People will be just massively surprised and blown away by what Ford actually went and did there. Mustang GTD is coming. This is a halo for the entire company. There's something special about this car. It's not just taking it to the next level, it's taking it up several levels. This was the Mustang that we always dreamed about building. There's a lot of brands that compete for a special small group of people, but the Mustang is for everyone. I always promised myself that I would push my team to do things that were unnatural in the name of producing something that's really special. That's why I care so deeply about this car, because it's been in my head for five decades. I want to see Porsche, I want to see Aston Martin, I want to see Mercedes sweat. Now look.